I call this meeting of conference committee House on House File 3489 to order. There is a quorum present. Welcome, members. Today we'll be acting on House File 3489. First, I have a staff. First, I will have a staff walk through the difference in the House and Senate language. Nonpartisan staff, would you please walk through the difference, please? Mr. Johnson. Mr. Chair, members, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, ben Johnson from House Research. The differences in the bill are located on page four of the bill. It's in what is uh, clause seven of section 609.06. .06. If you look at the Senate language starting at page four, line 14, the Senate has reinstated an or at the end of the sentence. And then on lines 15 and 16, the Senate has uh, added some additional clause language. Uh, very briefly, the difference is um, the House language strikes that or, which is consistent with the language that is in section 1218.582, which is on page two, lines 20 and 21 of both bills. The Senate language is no longer consistent with that standard. The, uh, Senate language also adds this uh, or to prevent theft, damage, or destruction of property in Clause 7. I just want to draw members' attention to Clause 4, which is already in 609.06, which authorizes the use of force by any person to protect, to resist a trespass upon, or other unlawful interference with property. Mr. Chair, that, that uh, is the only difference. Those are the only differences between the two bills. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Um, with that, members, any discussion? <clears throat> Senator Weston. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank Chair. You. Okay. Yeah, these, these rooms. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. And I appreciate uh, the fact that we were able to put together a conference committee um, quickly and that we could address this very quickly. I do want to be very, very clear about what happened yesterday with this amendment and what this amendment that was added to the Senate file actually does. And as was just explained by, um, by counsel, this literally created now a conflict between statutes. And the entire point of this, the entire point of this bill and this entire exercise was to reduce the lack of clarity and not create conflicts. And I would also say that what this literally did is it expanded the use of prone restraints in our schools, not constrict them. A considerable amount of work and effort went into this bill. And I am glad that we are addressing this now. As you all know, I voted against the amendment on the Senate floor. And I'm glad that we have the opportunity today to correct what I see as a grievous error so that we can move this forward, so that we can get our SROs back in our schools, so that everybody has clarity and understanding about expectations, and that we can move forward. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Weston. Any other members' discussion? Senator Omar Vaden. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Senator Weston. Couldn't have said it better myself. So just did out everything that you said. Um, I uh, also just want to thank you and um, Representative Frazier for your work on the bill, particularly the model policy. And I think that's the right way to do this work. It's really, really important for this to go through the post board. Um, I hated seeing the, the language um, uh, in the Senate and therefore want to move that we adopt the House language in House File 3489. Um, that first engrossment. Hearing Senator Omo verbatim, sorry, I'm your name today. <laughs> Senator has made a motion. Um, all those in favor of uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, sorry, oh. Senator Abler. Thanks to the motion. I was waiting to actually speak to the motion, and I'm glad it's quick and moving along. And, and I actually intend to vote in favor of the motion, um, but I just would like to explain a few things from my perspective. Um, I, I want to thank. Senator, Representative, sorry, it was meant to be a compliment, <laughs> Senator Frazier and Senator Westland for their work on this and many others. Um, and given the context of the last several years and all this, this has become a very meaningful topic to many people. Um, and I just want to remind everybody that 
this particular niche has been one of the least problematic areas of many niches that have been out there. And it's been concerns um, more than it has been in actuality of stuff. And so uh, on behalf of uh, law enforcement groups, they're happy to get a single standard for the use of force, which they, th th my SROs have never done anything resembling any of this in my area and even the environs I'm aware of. So, um, and so I uh, appreciate that that can be clarified. And I'm appreciative that the, uh, that the uh, suggestions about what should be done is now more of a may than a shall, so that they're going to consider this and consider that, and I appreciate uh, consideration on that element. Um, and so <clears throat> I want to commend the process that's gone on since the end of last session to make this language so good as it is. And I think in the grand scheme of things, it's probably an improvement over the whole system, and the safeguards that people wanted to put there are there. Um, and I just, on behalf of my people on my side of the aisle, they have to say, <laughs> you could have had these discussions last year, and we wouldn't have had to sit through this this year. Um, but I'm really happy that this is going to get the uh, school resource officers back in the schools. Um, and um, this, and I was happy to be helpful to get this moment to come with such a brief uh, meeting. And um, so now we can move on to other things, but I just do want to thank in particular all the actors in this Thing. And there's, this is a hard-fought compromise. I think there's some people that wish it would have been more one way or the other. But I think we have found kind of the Venn diagram, if you will, of the consensus. And so I'm happy to support it. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator Abler. Representative Witte. I just wanted to say uh, uh, thank you for the opportunity to, to be a part of this solution. Um, we've worked hard. We work together and we found compromises. Um, and the goal now is to get our SROs back into school so our students, teachers can be safe. And we did that together, so thank you. Thank you, uh, Representative Whitney. Any further discussion? With no further discussion, Senator Omo Verbaden moves to adopt the House Language House File 3489, first engrossment. Is there any, dis we've already had discussion on the motion. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Um, I move, or I direct nonpartisan staff to prepare a conference committee report, and I also move the nonpartisan staff are empowered to make technical and conforming changes of the language approved by this conference committee in order to reflect the intent of the conference committee. Conference committee members, please keep an eye on your email to sign the report when it becomes available. And I want to say thank you, members, and seeing no further business before this conference committee, we are adjourned.